Have you ever booked a vacation? And when you get there, reality doesn't exactly match what you were sold online. Well, some Europeans who are heading to New Brunswick in the future may be in for a bit of a shock. Brett Ruskin has traveled from Nova Scotia to New Brunswick for us this morning. He's in Moncton with a story of fibs and misinformation and stretching the truth and separating fact from fiction for us this morning. Brett, good morning. Good morning, Heather. Yeah, so this story involves tourism websites that the province has partnered with, has signed contracts with in an effort to try to draw uh, tourists from Europe here. And most cities do it, most provinces do it indeed. So let's go over some of the issues with these companies, however, that our colleagues at CBC New Brunswick have spotted uh, because there are some fairly glaring inconsistencies when you look at the information and itineraries that are available to travelers. So simple things that are easily searchable online the province's capital is listed as St. John. That's not the case. It's Fredericton. That St. John is the largest city. That's not the case. It's Moncton here. Speaking of Moncton, in fact, it says, hey, you can go whale watching in Moncton, a great activity. But Heather, if, if, if I spot whales in this muddy river, that certainly will be news indeed. Uh, they say you can tour the fishing villages in Fredericton. Uh, there aren't any fishing villages in Fredericton. There's a museum listed as a possible activity. That museum closed two years ago. It's going to be closed until 2026. There's a zoo that closed four years ago. There's even as you expand out to look at the rest of Atlantic Canada, there's a ferry that doesn't exist connecting St. John's, Newfoundland to Liscoe Mills, Nova Scotia. Uh, there's no ferry to or from Liscoe Mills to or from anywhere else. So it's just strange to see these details included on these websites of these tourism agencies that the New Brunswick government has partnered with. Here is New Brunswick's tourism minister speaking before all of these kind of revelations came out talking about her confidence in these companies. But these were, were opportunities specific direct to people who actually meetings with uh, businesses who actually book business in New Brunswick. These are people who have experience in New Brunswick. They come here, they bring crowds uh, every year to New Brunswick. So these are true stakeholders who, who buy. So that was the minister last week, Brett. What's the government saying about all of this now? So yes, these have all been flagged by again, CBC New Brunswick colleagues talking about the issues in these websites, the government is now saying, has issued a statement to uh, CBC News saying, hey, yes, we're looking at this. We're contacting these websites, trying to make these corrections, make these updates. Some of them, though, are kind of locked into PDF brochures for the 2024, 2025 season. So some of them can't be changed. For example, one website is going to be calling St. John, the capital of New Brunswick uh, for at least the remainder of the tourism season, Heather. Thank you, Brett. Thanks for sorting it all out from Moncton. Rep yeah. Ruskin is live for us today.